Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. I'm going to show you how to make this card, but if you haven't seen this stamp set, that is because it's an exclusive for August. You can only get it in August. You can only uh, get the bundle in August. <gasps> gotta get it, gotta get it, gotta get it. So, it is a two, a two, uh, a set of two stamps, but it's, well, it's one stamp set, but there's so many of them. Two cases framelits and they are gorgeous they are stitched hopefully you can see that and brand new watercolor pencils in brand new colors that we've not had before and I wanted to show you a different way to do to use watercolor pencils because I'm hoping you can see we've got a glittery effect going on here absolutely love it love that big shape but obviously you can see it's spring summer autumn winter because you've got um, holly there, you've got a bell there, you've got Merry Christmas, um, flowers, we've got wheat sheaves, leaves, autumnal leaves, you're the friend everyone wishes they have, I just miss you, congrats, thank you, wishing you all the best, everything for any season. Okay, and like I say, it comes with framelits, although I haven't used them on this particular project, um, framelits are awesome. So, what I've done is I've cut my cardstock base so a sheet of cardstock cut in half and scored in half and then I've got my whisper white layer to go over the top and it's just whisper white cardstock it's nothing fancy schmancy okay oh I need to stamp there that would be useful and a big block so it's a red rubber stamp set and what I'm going to do is I'm going to yes that fits on there I'm making sure my my block is square and I'm going to put this on in a way I want it. And obviously it's going to be reversed when I stamp down. So I've got my Memento ink and you twist it on all over and you can see where you're going and then tap all over as well. So twist and then tap. Okay, so I'm going to stamp that onto there okay and then I'm going to grab the greeting I want I'm going to go with thank you this time and this is how new it is haven't used it or barely used it really um, joy of going on holiday it's going to do that to you going to leave you no time for anything Okay, so I've got the thank you, and again, line up my block, and I'm doing my best, I'll try not to headbutt the camera, to look straight over the top, and hope that's lined up right. <laughs> Fingers crossed. And again, line up the cardstock on the grid paper, line it up. Cross your fingers. Yay! It's straight. Grid paper's brilliant, isn't it? Okay, so let me just scooch those out of the way. And the watercolour pencil, so it's ten in a pack, so we've already got a whole load. I'll bring those in in just a second. Um, so we've got this slot already, and there were four that came over from... It's a, a card kit, so that one, I think it's that one there came over, and I, I can't remember, and blender pens, so that's what we've already got, so now these are all new, so we've got Cherry Cobbler, Flirty Flamingo, and they don't look like the colours they're going to be, so don't worry about that, Cajun Craze, Crushed Curry, uh, Granny Apple Green, Garden Green, Night of Navy, Balmy Blue, that doesn't look at all Balmy Blue, but it will be. Gorgeous Grape, and that one is Coastal Cabana. So, I'm going to zoom in, so you can see what I'm doing. And I am, I have no idea if I'm doing this right or not, but I'm just having fun. Okay, so let's come in with some Gorgeous Grape. So, I'm going to splodge it in the middle of that flower, and then I'm going to run round those bits that are already done 
and I really am scribbling. I'm not going anywhere near the edges and I'm going to take my Wink of Stella which is quite runny at the moment and I'm going to treat it like a watercolour pencil, uh, like a watercolour brush and just move everything. Now the gorgeous grape is particularly dense in colour so it moves really really well. Oops, oh I went over the lines. Oh well, it's handmade, that's okay. And just keep moving it about. And I will come back to that one in a second, this one in a bit, to add more colour because obviously because I've used um, Wink of Stella I can't come back just yet. Oh, focus, there we go. So we've got this glittery effect. I need to... Focus, focus, focus. There we go. I need to come back to that, but I need to let it dry down a bit. What other colour shall I go for? Shall I try this? Well, I have to show you balmy blue because it doesn't look at all balmy blue like that, but it will be. So again, just, you know... I'm just following those bits. And then I'm going to come in a bit lightly around... Stamping out makes me look good. And just exactly the same as I did before. Using my Wink of Stella. Splodge it about. Uh, you could use the blender pens that come with it. You can use an aqua painter. I'm a bit of a glittery junkie. Love a glitter. Love Wink of Stella. Can't stop using it. If you haven't got Wink of Stella in your lineup, in your craft kit, please get one. You will thank me later. <laughs> Because it takes a, a it takes a project up another level, but that now is more Barney blue because that's quite a difference in colour. And actually, what's quite nice is that you do get the vers versatility of colour. So if I show you that again, so oh, hello kitten. There's a sorrel on the desk. It's a good job I'm zoomed in. Right, and what other colour shall I do? Um, shall I go for this one? So this is flirty flamingo that doesn't look at all flamingo. Do not try and get through my blinds, kitten. And then again, so that really doesn't look flirty flamingo at all. I need to wipe that off a bit actually. But when you brush it out, it pales down. Such a clever technique. Perfect. Right, so I'm going to come in with Garden Green. And look at this, it's so easy. Watercolour, watercolour pencils make me happy. And I will come back to that gorgeous grape as I promised before. I want to show you what happens when you add to it. Splish it around. Although maybe glittery leaves not such a good idea. I probably should have used just an aqua painter with those, but you know, it's okay. It's all good. It's creativity. Oh, she's stealing my brushes. This is Sorrel. It's Berry who nicks my um Wink of Stella, but Sorrel is here on my desk, and I've got a couple of paint brushes, and she keeps pinching them. I wish you could see her right now. <laughs> you can hear her though, I'm sure. And the neighbour's dog, who I think has just spotted her in the window. <laughs> oh, she's now blocking my light as well. Oh, Sorrel! little cheeky thing. And then last bit, let's have some cherry cobbler buds. I know there's professional watercolour people out there who are probably going, oh, look what she's doing. But I'm having fun. Okay, I'll wibble those lines a little bit. Probably ought to be wearing my glasses. Okay, 
Right, so let's come back in to this gorgeous grape. So what I want to do is add to the centre. Again, so I'm making it darker. I'm going to follow... <laughs> She's, got... <laughs> She's got it stuck. So again, I'm just following those lines. Oh, I'm breaking them. Just following those lines. And... Coming back in again, and you get you're now getting the sort of depth, the realistic feel. Clever, clever. And we can do the same with all of the others. So I'll come back into the balmy blue, and again just sharp those edges, and I'll do flirty flamingo while I'm here <laughs> I wish I had the camera zoomed out because she's just plodded across the top of my grid paper with brush in hand brush in mouth <laughs> little tinker and that, when I zoom out now, is lovely. How cool is that? So I've used Wink Costella. I've got a beautiful glittery finish to my card. I'm going to mount it on my cardstock. I think it's rather lovely. And obviously you get the same effect if you use blender pens or, you know, aqua paint or something like that. But I wanted to show it to you with Wink of Stella. Happy me. I think with this one I did Cherry Cobbler and the Gorgeous Grape and the um, Balmy Blue there. And then I did it slightly differently this way. Or maybe I did do, I can't, don't remember. I don't remember when I did it. But I love them. So pretty. Thank you ever so much for joining me. And Sorrel and the paintbrush. Hope to speak to you very soon. Bye.